That was crazy. Is this the type of reaction I get on house shots? That's crazy. Hey everyone, Goots is back. Today we are doing the new ball. Today we are doing the intense mindset. All right, so this is a pearl ball with the HK22. It's an ASIM pearl version of the mindset itself. So I'm gonna be standing 27 and we are bowling on a house shot. So expect this ball to hook. Not sure how much, but expect it to hook. That was crazy. A lot of speed in that ball. I really used part of that oil. Not the best shot off my hand, lots of speed. This is how I usually play on a house. So this mindset does have a big core, usually has a bigger diff. With that being said, especially on a house shot, I do try and throw a little bit more speed than revs because I really want this ball to control the shape. I don't have much to play with, but let's go. So you can see that once it gets to the end of the pattern, it does roll. I can probably move a little bit more right. Like I said, we're throwing a little bit more speed. I'm trying to just control that shape. So I'm gonna move a little bit more right, get into the dry quicker, and this ball should roll. The big core should really help. Ooh, so I moved right. You can see it was a light swisher, but everything still flew out the gate. Like that ball had a lot of power behind it. Not a bad ball on house shots, especially if I miss right. It's really just gonna roll, but I do have to keep my angles tighter compared to more of my benchmark ball where I'll be able to hook the lane a little bit more. Ooh, really doesn't wanna hook off the spot. They throw that one a lot more faster. They probably still move a little bit more right. There is a lot of oil down the middle. House shots are typically, it's flooded down the middle, usually from like 13 or 15 and then really dry boards in the outside. I do struggle a little bit with house shots just because of that wet, dry scenario. Me moving right with a smoother ball should technically be really good. So I'm gonna move a little bit more right. Is that good? There we go. That was really good. Is this the type of reaction I get on house shots? That's crazy. So this intense mindset, apparently it is one of the biggest balls out there. Lots of flip, lots of back end reaction, but with me throwing it faster, it's not really giving that reaction, especially me just rolling it off my hand. But with that being said, why don't we move left and see if this ball will actually have that back end reaction. I'm gonna throw a little bit more slower, kind of get into a comfort zone where I usually like to play, and this will be a tad slower. So you did see that back end reaction. Really got to the pocket nicely. With me being so far left already, I think I'm just gonna leave flat tens. But let's throw one more good shot. Have an intense mindset. <laughs> Ooh, that rolled nicely. Really kept it in the oil much longer as it got closer to the back end. It wasn't as strong as a flip, but very smooth. It might just be the length of the pattern because with this house shot, it's really getting my ball down the lane. And once it gets to that spot, it just rolls in. Let's compare it with a benchmark ball that I usually like that's an ASIM pearl, especially when it gets to part of the lanes where it gets toasty and I need to move left and control a little bit more back end reaction. So we'll be throwing the effect. All right, so with the effect, I'll be standing at the same area where I threw that last shot, a little slower. I do expect this ball to hook a lot, but I think it goes further. Yep, definitely further and smoother, something I like. This ball does have a smaller core, and with that being said, really when it gets to the back, I won't get that crazy back end or crazy roll that the mindset gives me. With the mindset, I feel like it's just fighting me as it's just too smooth. So the reason why I do like throwing this one better is because it covers less boards and I'm just able to cover my shape as the core is smaller and honestly, it gets to the front very easily. See how it just kind of floats right in there? If I do that with a mindset, I think I'll leave a 10 pin or it's just way too sharp of an angle. Could be the colors too. All right, question time with Goots. What is your favorite bowling environment? Whether it be tournament time, uh, league time, or you know, a scratch league, handicap league. And honestly, and for me, I find the most enjoyable thing about bowling is bowling tournaments. Uh, with that being said, I just love the atmosphere. 
I love how everyone has such a strong mindset into bowling and everyone's there to beat each other and you know be on top. Let us know in the comments down below what is your favorite environment. How about we throw another one with the mindset, same area and cover the same amount of boards. You can see that the ball's trying to fight the corner. Like I said, bigger core, especially moving left, is not the greatest thing to have. When I was playing right, it did give me a smoother reaction so I didn't have to stand so far left. So that's the benefit of the ball. I can show you a quick shape of the two when I do play straighter with it, and you get to see the big difference. So I'm back to about 25, and let's see what happens. So that was a good ball off my hand, but you can see how it's just rolling and rolling and rolling. It doesn't really want to pick up off the back, especially on this house. If I throw the effect, I think it will be a little sharper. Not really sure. Haven't really tried to do this with the effect, but well, let's see what happens. So the effect did give me a lot more back end reaction, which I really like because one, I'm not going to leave a 210 or a 28. I know that ball's gonna hook. That mindset, the core is just so big for me. Benefits someone who might be a two-hander who likes to play straighter and throw it harder, or for someone like Simu, who wants to not be so far left, possibly a lefty, like Parker. So with that being said, let's throw one more with the ideal line that I think should work. So I'm gonna move a little bit more right than what I usually do and enjoy the show. That was dirty. Really good ball off the hand. Great shot. Let's take it back to the shot. All right, we are back with the intense mindset. Wow, this ball is a huge ball. On the market, this is the most hooking ball and the most back end ball. Crazy what technology has brought to the bowling world now. So today we bowl on a house shot. It's a beast. With it being a beast, I can actually move right, stay right, and keep the ball in line with the shape compared to when I was throwing the effect. The effect had much better reaction when I started moving left. If I was too far right, like you saw that strike, it was just way, it was driving way too hard. At least with this, it was really controlling the shape, not giving away the pocket. Even though it went light, I could still keep moving right, which is actually really crazy to me because I've never had a ball do that. With the HK22 cover stock that it has, pretty much like any other ball, you get that long motion and then skid off the back. But the way that this ball was skidding for me was it was completely different in my eyes where it still really rolled in without crazy flipping motion. Um, you can see the ball trying to hook in my hand and I did throw it faster, but with me compensating for that, I think I can move right with this ball, play much more straighter than usual, just have those pins explode. So if I was any other bowler that would want to throw this ball, I think you would have to be speed dominant who likes to throw it right. If you're rev dominant, it's probably a good ball for you if you're bowling on much more heavier conditions as it is one of the higher end balls. With it being a house shot, I didn't have much oil to play with, so that's why I was so far left in the beginning. As I started moving right and carry down started to happen, it, the shape did look a little better. Would I really have this ball in my bag? Honestly, I probably wouldn't. It's just way too strong. And with the tournaments that I like to play, I like to control my shape a lot more. Once this ball did leave the pattern, it did kind of give me that over under reaction just because of how big it is. When I missed right, it kind of rolled out. When I missed left, it was still trying to turn. So it's not a ball that I think I would bring in situations where it's longer. So like what we bowl on today, like a house, house shot of four or three feet. Maybe I'll bring it to somewhere shorter, but it's not my ideal ball that I'll have in my bag. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. Answer the question down below. What is your favorite bowling environment? Leave a comment, and then we'll see you in the next bit. Thank you.